Good morning, yoga healer Kate Stillman. Don't you love how I look in cartoon image? Yes, Shakti Marvelous. In real life I actually have juicy hips and thighs and buff arms. Anyhow, you had some questions about how Ayurveda can enhance your life and your yoga teaching? Yes, indeedy. I love my yoga and since there is more I can do, you know, off the mat, to age gracefully and not inherit the genetic diseases of my ancestors. How will my life get better the more I know Ayurveda? Well, good for you for having a progressive, future-oriented attitude towards your health. Many people fall victim to less empowered beliefs about their health and aging. Progressive, awake empowerment and interconnectivity are the heart of Ayurveda. In Ayurveda we teach a simple principle, svasta, to be seated in the self. As you study Ayurveda you learn how to take more responsibility to create an optimal life and a healthy body. Mm. Responsibility? Yes that is what I am looking for. I know the choices impact how I feel, my energy, my happiness, and my experience of balance. But, I have questions about where to go next. There is so much conflicting information and I find myself most drawn to Ayurveda because I love yoga so much and I know that Ayurveda co-evolves with yoga. Yes there is a lot of information in the information age. The process of taking information and discerning if it's the highest truth in your body is the tapas, the fire, of churning information into wisdom. That which doesn't hold truth gets burned away. As you do this, and honor what you learn, you are practicing svasta and discerning truth from within. What I find with the yoga students I teach in my online living Ayurveda course, is that the intricate map of how the body is organized. We get to know how we may violate that organization with poor choices which generate a disease pattern. This opens major gateways to a deeper experience of svasta. Oh, the information has a whole system of understanding built in. As integral theorist Ken Wilber often says, the map is not the territory. Ayurveda, when studied as a system, gives you the map and points you into the territory to the seven layers of tissue in your body, your emotional body and your mind. When you know the map, it becomes much easier to see the patterns of imbalance and their root cause. Most yoga students never engage in this education, and when they fall ill, many end up turning to a pill and a bill, and sometimes unnecessarily. When you talk about a map, how is this different from Western anatomy and physiology? Western anatomy evolved out of dissecting animals, including humans, and studying bodily pieces under a microscope. Eastern or Ayurvedic anatomy evolved out of meditation and directly perceiving the inner terrain of the human organism as a whole. When we understand what each is to offer we have powerful tools for both preventing imbalances and disease as well as skillfully and holistically taking action to mitigate damage already done. Yes. Good. Most of my friends invest significantly in medical testing and believe that to be preventative medicine. But I know from my yoga and meditation practice that testing is an assessment tool, not a prevention tool. I also know from looking at older yoga teachers that there are better ways of aging. I'm curious, what does Ayurveda have to offer people at different stages of life? I'm glad you asked. This is something that pulls on my attention and I sense could lead to a whole revolution in healthcare. We are brought up, as Westerners in a culture that believes that our health is individual. For instance, that Johnny's sinus infections are totally separate from Daddy's tennis elbow and Mommy's PMS, and Susie's asthma. When we look at our families on an interrelated whole, as in web, we start to see patterns. Depending on what stage of life someone is in, and what their unique constitution is, as well as the nature of how they go out of balance, results in the specificity of their imbalance. Oh, yes. In Ayurveda we always look from the whole to the parts, from organization to the unique pattern of disorganization, or disease. In this way we learn how to collaborate with nature's rhythms and the body's innate healing wisdom and make choices to support our body, rather than fight disease. When we align with nature's rhythms and understand how we're out of sync in our daily choices, we can often change course and experience deep wellness. This takes time and is greatly aided by of support. Ah, interesting. So when I learn more about Ayurveda, I'll understand disease patterns from a yoga perspective and what went wrong in a very specific pattern. Through that understanding I'll be able to make changes in my day-to-day -day life that enables me to age gracefully, taking better care of not only myself, 
but also my whole family and more deeply empower my yoga students? Yes. That is how Ayurveda works. You might want to learn for yourself and your own graceful aging process, but in the end, the better you learn, the more you become living wisdom for those around you. How cool is that? That is very cool. Ayurveda is already exceeding what I thought was possible. And it sounds simple and common sense. Yes, that has been my experience. So, how do you recommend learning Ayurveda? It depends. If you want to become a practitioner and see clients, you need formal study and a supervised internship. On my yogahiller.com blog, search for Ayurveda Education, and you can learn more about this. If you are learning for yourself, your family and your yoga students, I have a nine-month course that yoga students and teachers take from all over the earth. We meet every week on the phone and connect on Facebook and learn together. We support each other in vibrant health evolution. We also troubleshoot how to integrate Ayurveda into teaching yoga to help families awaken to their wellness potential around the globe. It's a total blast. Oh, groovy. I don't want to see clients. I just want to help myself, my family and my yoga students. I'll check out the Living Ayurveda course. If I have questions about the program, how do I ask? Just visit my website www.yogahiller.com and schedule a free 15-minute conversation with me. We'll see what is the best fit for you to learn more about Ayurveda and to age gracefully.